All right, Uncharted 2. I assume the controls are gonna be the same as the first game, so I think I'm gonna be okay. Let's go on ahead and uh, continuous speed run. Well, I'll just do a normal campaign, normal. For those who just wanna see the game, so I assume it's like invincibility and whatnot. Uh, I'm just gonna do it on normal. I, I think I did Uncharted 1 on normal, so not gonna be anything different. I'm just gonna play through all the games on normal. But it's nice that they have an explorer mode. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco, follow! On his deathbed in 1324. Hello. What's going on? That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got into this situation. Sorry, I wanted to do that. Ow. Yeah, uh, hell of a way to start the game, huh? <laughs> Chapter one, rock in a hard place. Amazing how we're supposedly in a lot of pain and still able to do all this. Thought there was a quick time event I'd have to do. Guess not. Yeah. I also, yeah, I remember, uh... Compared to the first game, I enjoy Uncharted, Uncharted 2 a uh, hell of a lot more, so I'm expecting to have that same experience here. The fact that he was able to hang on after all of that, uh, kind of unrealistic in my opinion, but... It's an action game. Logic really doesn't play it, its part in a lot of this stuff, so... Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, good. We're back out here again. Yeah, we we've lost blood. Uh, we're in a very cold place, and our hands are probably going to be suffering frostbite because of all the cold stuff we're hanging on to. But adrenaline is one hell of a drug, so we're going to keep on persevering like nothing bad is happening to us. Get up, please. And just as we got back up here, we have to run for our life. You know, if we probably just stayed passed out in that seat, we would have been just fine. Honestly. Uh, 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 
Is it a dream? Or a flashback? It's a flashback. Basically, how did the hell did we get into that situation? Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Listen. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall run across the rooftops and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And then we get and caught and shot to death. Worth all this trouble, I hear you ask. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Or is it? We, that's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands and by the way this is not worth any of it but there's more of course there is how's your 13th century latin mate where'd you get this borrowed it from the files of the nutcase <laughs> in trebizond we were set upon by thieves father mafeo and i were robbed of our greatest treasures this was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China. With 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters, shelters the fate, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, we just saw it earlier, so... Yeah. A lot of can go wrong. Oh, okay, we're back here. Yeah, what could go wrong? This. There's something over here. Yeah. There's a treasure. There it is. Let's uh, inspect it. Wrathful deity statue. Wait, did it say out of a hundred? Jeez. Forgot how many treasures were in this game compared to the first. Uh, okay, I thought that was something. Guess not. 
But yeah, that's our uh, first treasure, and I guess if you go past that point, you miss it. Just like the first game, I'm not going to be going after all the treasures. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this at my own pace, on my own terms. Hey, gun. Thanks, uh, dead guy who was probably trying to kill us. Oh, and another one. Yeah, it's at 100 treasures. Sarah Saraswati statue. Alright, so, uh, how the hell do we... Oh, okay. You know, honestly, we could probably just stay here next to the fire and we'd be able to get some of our strength back, but I guess because this is kind of like an action movie, we just gotta keep going. Hey, refill on ammo. Probably gonna need it soon. Oh, good. We gotta shoot the lock. It's always locked. There we go. Now we can open it. So basically, this is the tutorial, and we just got shown that we can break uh, locks with our gun if we need to. We know how to use our. We know how to use our gun now. All right, yeah. Uh, reload and shoot are the same buttons. Aim is the same. Probably shouldn't have done that, honestly. Uh, I'm not Nathan Drake. Oh, hi, I'm down here. Uh, is there anything of worth down here? Yeah, there is. Huh. The hell did I get? Bhutanese lime box. But no limes. Hmm. Alright. Glad I can actually uh, get out of that. There we go. I think I might just find all the treasures in chapter one. Believe it or not. Uh, I guess this is where the rest of the train is. Ow! Normal person would be dead. No ifs, ands, or but. A nor buts. A normal person would just be dead from that. Another flashback. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. He is. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> Should I take the family friendly tag off? So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Uh, based on what's been happening with the tutorial, mm, he might be pissed. We don't know yet. I know what happens because I've actually I actually remember the story.
Could have been knocked out next to a fire, honestly. Uh, oh, do I really have to go that way? Oh, we are walking funny. We are really walking funny, and that is a bit of our blood on the ground there. Alright, so I guess, uh, gotta go this way. Amazing how we can jump after walking that way. Uh, oh, okay, we gotta go under. Oh, God, we gotta go under. Uh, so far, I'm liking the controls uh, compared to the first game. Alright, my camera... My camera controls are, uh, good. I don't need to adjust them. God, our arm, arm looks really effed up, doesn't it? So yeah, uh, Chloe and, uh, Drake actually know each other. Ooh, another cursed object. Oh, huh. looks like a dagger. Istanbul. Four months earlier. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Into the sewer we go. Ooh, a blowtorch. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Improvise. We, go, we cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to get betrayed? Close. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. I bet you like it when you see her walk away, huh? You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Alright, so yeah, we're in, finally in chapter two. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Not really, but okay. Is there a treasure down here, I wonder? Or is this death? No, it's not death, but it's also, uh, there's nothing. Not a damn thing. All right. Back up we go. I wonder if there's a dash, if there's a dash button. All right. 
I can't go that way. I gotta go this good way. Days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Oh, I had to go a diagonal with the control stick. Thought I wouldn't make that one for a second. Let me up, please. Let me up, thank you. Uh, nothing. Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Really? <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. All yeah. right. In like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Like, how the hell are. We? Oh, okay, there's another ladder there. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. We're good. Alright, so, because we don't have a gun, I assume that we're not going to be killing anybody. So if we come across any guards, we have to, I guess, uh, subdue them instead of, you know, kill them. Oh, hey, a treasure. That is a Byzantine gold coin. Alright, nothing over there. Do we go in through here? Nope. Okay, I guess we do vault over the, uh... Oh, vault over that. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, hang on. Yeah! Yeah, I dropped it down for you. He's pretty quick. All right. This is the way to the courtyard. All right. Nothing well, here. We're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. Which means you can find detour. Up, oh, found it. You got it. Cool. Uh, is there a treasure up here? Nope. Okay. Moving on. I say I'm not going to be finding all the treasures, and yet I'm looking for them like I am anyway. Uh, that's a long way down. You'd die if you, uh, went that way. Ah, guard. Jamming to his own tunes. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? Um, I want to turn off your flashlights. It would be very bad if we kept them on and, uh, we got caught. Ooh, a treasure. I got a beginner fortune hunter medal. The Ottoman ring. The Ottoman and Byzantine empires. Alright, so this is the door? It's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's nuisance last time. Oh, great. Now what? 
Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's got to be around here somewhere. All right, so uh, let's follow the wiring then. See uh, where it ends up. So it goes this way. Uh, junction box up here? Yes! There. That ought to do it. Alright, now let's actually try it. Uh, flashlight's off, I guess? Yeah. There we go. Shit. I got him. Lights out. Cool. Yeah, there's a little more, uh, there's a few more stealth mechanics in this game. The roof and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. Uh. Basically, just follow Flynn, and you shouldn't be getting caught. And yeah, uh... It feels like uh, this game has a few more stealth mechanics than uh, mm -hmm. the first game. We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Yeah, definitely a little more emphasis on stealth in this game, and the stealth mechanics kind of actually work. Alright, so I guess on the count of three... There we go. Got him. Not necessarily stealth, but uh, they didn't alert any other guards, so it's all good. I guess we gotta follow guards in. Oops. Okay. There we go. I almost messed that up. Alright, we can't necessarily go down there unless we get caught. Unless we get to a certain point. I think uh, this is it right here. I got this guy. I think I can get to the... Oh, Fling got him. All right. Should be okay now. I think... Uh... Aha! I assumed there, there would be something uh, here. All right, so that's the silver amulet box. This up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, crap. You want to get this one? Wait here. Well, at least we can climb up this thing without uh, alerting it. All right, so yeah, and the path will always be leading to where we need to go. Why do they put it in such a high place? Seems kind of unrealistic. 
All right. Now we can lift it and get underneath. I'm assuming this guy over here won't see me. Nope. Guess not. Uh, who do I go after next? This guy? No, guess not. Damn it. Oh, that was a bad move. And that's essentially, uh, just base the same. That's the same as dying, basically. All right, head for the fountain. Wait for that guy. Jump. <sighs> Oh, there's a treasure over there. So, I guess if I want the treasure... Sweet dreams. Son of a bitch. I should have waited a little bit longer. I'm surprised no one caught me. So, uh... Yeah, where is that treasure? I saw something shining, and I thought it was next to the fountain. Yeah, it's right there. The hell? Got it! That is the silver belt buckle. Alright, they aren't gonna spot me. Okay. I think I'm supposed to wait on that one, actually. And yeah, I got saved. Okay. Bonuses, treasures. Okay, it saved it. All right. Son of a bitch. We weren't supposed to move yet. Head for the fountain. There we go. Wait. 
wait for him to go around me. Yeah, there he is. Damn it. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do with this one, then? I think I had trouble with this one when I uh, first played. Actually, now that I think about it. Stop being alerted. There we go. Sweet dreams. Damn it. All right, so I don't think I'm supposed to be, uh... I don't think I'm supposed to be getting that guy. Wow, I thought I got hit. Guess not. Damn it. Ah... Of course. Head for the fountain. Head for the fountain. Yeah, I remember this one giving me trouble. Turn around, please. Sweet dreams. Damn it. Damn it. That could have gone better. All right, so I guess this is going to be the rest of the stream. Okay. Hmm. And there are those guards with the flashlights. I'm going to check something real quick. Yeah, I've beaten this game before. I do not mind uh, getting a... Looking up a uh, long play. And let's look up one with no commentary. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, it's one without a commentary, so, and I'm just muting it anyway. Oh, okay. I get it now. Uh, 
Uh, wait for this guy to turn his back. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh. Right underneath. Lights out. Now we just got to find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. <laughs> Alright, cool. Closing that. Should be fairly straightforward from here on out. Guns? Time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? You know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. Kutulara bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Bu bizim görevimiz değil ki. Bunlar ne ki zaten? Right. Sergiden kalan eşyalar. So. Bana çerçöp gibi geldi zaten. Oh nice. So we have a uh, looks like we have unlimited darts. But uh range is crap. So where the hell am I supposed to shoot this one? Oh, I see a treasure. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Ah, oh, you fell off. Alright, so that should have been all four of them. Did something get thrown at me? Give me a hand, will you? Oh, okay. Okay, but something with wheels. This is very heavy. Well, looks like there's a lot of heavy stuff in it. There, that'll work. Now what we need is a horse. The hell? I just zipped. Alright, well. That's better. All right, I did see something shiny up there. Those rafters will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Gra ah, grappling hook. Yeah. Oh, yours. Thank you. Hey, lad, you got it. Gotcha. Is there an elevator in this building? Yeah, the treasure is right up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm a sucker for taking detours. Got it. Ooh. H. Knight. Hmm. Looks like I gotta go jumping. I mistimed that severely. Alright. Glad to know the checkpoint was right there. And that uh, any treasures you collect uh, are automatically saved even after you die. Yeah, I thought I was on a grapple point, so when I hit circle, it uh, made me fall to my doom. And then just jump. Okay. Made it. Alright. Thought there was a treasure right there, but I guess not. Oh, hey! The roof! Alright, there's the tower. Getting close, huh? Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. You look down. God, with my nerves the way they are, I would never be able to do this in real life. Or whatever it is, adventurers like him, uh, eat. There, another grapple. Okay, I can get this. Yeah. Oh, once again, you're up. Thanks. I'm right behind you. As always. Oh, come on, I had it before. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. Ha ha, very funny. Also, we technically killed a guy. Unfortunately. Uh, treasure? Ooh, it's the rest of the city in a uh, kind of detailed JPEG. All right, so where do we go next? This way? Nope. Ah, up there. Oh. Of course. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. Oh. Jungle Jim. I'm glad uh, we don't have to do headshots for an instant knockdown with these tranquilizer guns. With the nature of the game, I think that would be just a little too much uh, nuance. Oh, we just vault.
All right, still on the roof. All right, nothing over here. And yeah, we have unlimited ammo. We might as well use it. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. Nice. That's my girl. Whew. All right. I guess we're in. Lockpick. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. And there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Of course, lockpicks. We're touching it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. That's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And... Glows blue. Let me see that. There, there Our we go. Were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait. There's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem. Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala. Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. And yep. Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn. We had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do? Shoot me now? No. I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been playing. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Yep, he is a bastard. He is a big bastard. Alright. 
So we gotta figure out how to get the hell out of here. So I guess that means run. Keep on flipping, keep on flipping. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Back into the sewers. I'm surprised they haven't shot me yet. Oh, there we go. Way out, way out, way out, way out. See you, suckers. And we get caught. There we go. Yep. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Three months later. Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. A good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, no man, crap. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a Sully, second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. You're around. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, Leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client. Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, <sighs> I called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off <laughs> Chloe, i was thinking more like an explosion or that 
<laughs> Are you in? Oh hell yes, I was in before you were. That's what she said. You know what? It's late at night. I probably shouldn't have the family friendly tag on. By the way, YouTube, I'm uh, I'm uh, streaming this at midnight right now. We're getting close. All right. Okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. First one should be right ahead of you. Cool. Yay, more water to run through. At least this ain't a sewer. Oh, okay. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. Oh. There we are. Cool. All right. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> <laughs> this one? Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what hit him. Just be careful. The Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Oh, cool. I'm also just taking a quick detour because treasure! I am a treasure hunter, after all. Keep an eye out for patrols. <sighs> I'm sweating like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? <laughs> Why not? here. Take these guys out nice and quiet. I said quiet, mate. That's the other end of loud. Oops. Alright. I think I will go on ahead and uh do this stealthily. Because I did a self takeout, I get extra ammo. Nice. their patrols wait for the right time I think it is possible to get up here without alerting any of the guards oops you tipped over the uh, spotlight Oh, 
Oh, so far so good. Just have to watch out for that guy. Headshot. I am dying, I am dying. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess your uh, allies are a little more effective in this game. Because I did not see any of my uh, allies... I didn't see any of my allies hit anybody with their guns. Hello. I has ammo. And I think like the first game, I'm going to try to stick to the uh, handguns primarily because I'm a sucker for uh, saving my uh, machine gun ammo. They're not going to turn around, are they? Ah, oh, dang it, I couldn't aim it in time. It's going to get him with a headshot. Especially if they aren't looking. I guess that was a pretty good uh, tactic. Just uh, shoot from uh, one spot and then just go around them without them seeing you. This guy uh, come closer, and then I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, or you know, just do that. Nice. Oh, very good shot. I need a super gun. Oh, a super gun. No, you don't. Definitely gonna be using this one for a while. Hi. You, you dodged just in time. I applaud you. No, you don't. He was about to arm a grenade. Thought that would explode? I guess not. I thought I heard a shotgun. Cool. Anyone coming in from the left? 
Or am I gonna have to... Uh, I have to get another vantage point. Uh, yeah, that was the shotgun. I am taking the shotgun. I don't see anyone else. Oh, I see ya. Uh... No, you're dead. Alright. Four different explosives, so let's uh go around the camp and try to find them. Ooh. Definitely want to have a lot of handgun ammo. Oh, here's one. Still got our arm three of the charges. There's one. There's another, I see it. There's two. Ah, here's numero tres. All right, one more and we're out of here. I see it. At least they were easy to spot. I don't need a stinking hint. Okay, that's all of it. Now let's go pay Mr. Lazarvich a visit. Uh, okay, that's just a uh, platform. Can't reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. All right. Come on, gorgeous. Jump up. You got a great ass, Sully. Uh, thanks. Here you go, kid. All right. Ooh, shotgun. Some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Oh, well, it won't be once we, uh, once we, uh, detonate the explosives. All right, no treasures again. Probably after this tra chapter, I'll probably call the stream. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Oh, look. We don't have a gun. Drop your weapons. Yeah, we uh, don't have guns now. There you go. Here's another one for you. Sully! Enough of this frivolity, kid. Come on, we got work to do. What does frivolity mean? Sounds like frivolous, so, uh... Follow the hose, we find the cast. You always follow the hose. Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget that, are you? Yep, we don't have a gun. So we gotta find another gun. Hey, chapter four, the dig. Uh, hmm. You know what? One more chapter. One more chapter. And then I'll call it good. I think I see the camp up ahead. Are you ready? Wait, wait. Just hold on a sec. Three months, and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now, wait, wait a minute. We've been... Commander! There's the crazy the guy. Garbage. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray... 
Blame me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. <laughs> Surrounded by traitors and fools. What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Let out! Search the perimeter. Go. All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Ooh, he's got a magnum. Ooh. Careful, Nate. Looks like they left a couple of sentries behind. All right, wait. It's showtime. Here we are. I know, half gun. You're not paying us enough of this shit. Shut up with you. I'm sick of your complaints. We are more of that, and now I have a handgun again. Yay! Wish I could have kept the shotgun. All right, there's another sentry. That was close. Don't d turn the other way, please. D d d turn the other way, p sir. Sir, could you please turn the other way? All right, screw this. Oh, you're still alive. Get him. All right, cool. I think that's all the sentries. Got it. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? It beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. They must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? Up a ground. Bingo. Up a mountain. Get to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap. Spread out. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Nate. You well, that's convenient. Hey, the introduction to grenades. Ooh, double kill. There's someone here. Ooh, triple kill. All right. 
I'm gonna need something with a little bit of range, so that's why I'm using the AK. Oh god, I made him, uh, I made him drop the grenade! Down the middle? Really? Where? Oh, right there. I think I got him. Alright, Sully's credit, he actually get, is getting a couple of uh, people, so I'm not having to worry about too much. Oh, nice. Alright. And he is giving me good call-outs. Wow, those are not clay. They do not break. Alright, let's move up a little bit. Yep. So, I gotta get some machine gun ammo. I do not have machine gun ammo. I've got a hand, a lot of handgun ammo, though. Oh, God. Got him. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'm out of a uh, AK, so yeah, let's uh, get shotgun. Gotcha. Look out! Gotcha. Cool. Oh God. Sound design's a lot better, I noticed, compared to the first game. Oh god, they are flanking me. Alright, recharge a little bit. Oh, shit. Nice. Head blast. Catch. Can I aim it right inside? Oh, did I? Oh my god, I actually did it. Okay, that was... <laughs> he just ragdolled. That was... That was... That was a uh, pretty uh, skilled. And, uh... You know, uh, funny at the same time. Oh, cool. Grenades. Alright, I think uh, another guy dropped a shotgun, so I'm gonna grab that. There it is. Oh, wow. Thank you for the, uh, shells. I appreciate it. You okay, Sully? Oh, yeah. I am definitely liking this a lot better than the first game already. Well, I thought the story was pretty good. Yeah, the game, actual gameplay leaves a little bit to be desired at this point in time. But it did come out fairly early in the PS3's life cycle, so not really surprised. So I'm not going to hold it against it too much. But Uncharted 2 is definitely a very good refinement. I'm, I'm having a... I'm definitely having a fun time so far.
And yeah, at this point, there's probably a lot of treasures I've missed. Oh, yeah. A cave. Hey. Luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Chapter 5? Please let's say Chapter 5. Wow, this place must be thousands of years old, at least. Oh. Down this way. Hey, flashlight. Oh. We hit the jackpot. There must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. Looks like they're all ugly. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. And yet they all died down here. <laughs> That's. Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? More resin. Resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. It burns blue. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Ah, oh, it's a black light. All right, let's follow the blood stains. Let's see if they lead somewhere. Yeah. Damn. That's a lot of blood. All right, so yeah, let's uh, circle back the other way. Yeah, it goes in here. That's where we found our torch. All right, so yeah, uh, I guess it's back out this way. Uh, I guess it's like they said, just follow the blood trail. And already I am lost on where to go. Yeah, unlike the stealth section in Chapter 2, I'm probably just going to figure this one out on my own. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Okay. I thought it was going to cause a cave-in. God, I don't think I'd be able to do that anymore. The trail leads in here. I'd pull another muscle my back and I'd probably be out for a month. The older you get, the more frail your body becomes unless you have constant upkeep on it. And that is something I do not have on my body. So, yeah. Take care of your body, and it will take care of you in the long run. Wow. Look at this. Is what this Marco Polo? Here? Careful. <laughs> Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. It's a map. Oh. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? At what is it? Some kind of weapon? That's the thing from the beginning oh, of the no, game. It's a perba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport 
to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples did anymore, it's a my camera just well, go out for a split a second I thought, I thought i saw the light flash in all these many temples oh. only one conceals the secret path to shambhala and that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport this right, nice work kid so what are we waiting for <laughs> let's get out of here all right see ya Let's get going. Yeah, let's. A lot of dead bodies, though. Uh, it's that way, but uh, maybe treasure in here now? I do not see one, so yeah, it's this way. Follow Chloe. I'm going to go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we just follow her then. Give me a hand, Nate. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor Goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a path pathway to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Yeah, Flynn's also a dumbass. Come on, keep moving. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. All right. I like her. <coughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> then why did she kiss me and not you? Shit. They've spotted us. We run, run, run. Thanks for the heads up. Quit screwing around and get up here. Let's go. Trying to find the grapple points, dang it. Average will break him for us. Good I'm point. Too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on now, don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. 
You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. Screw you, Flynn! Well, when you said Lazarevich had a head start on us, you weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh-oh. We got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Been better. Oh, we lost the spare tire. And we're not. There it is, chapter five, Urban Warfare. And this is where we're gonna end things off tonight. You know, after this sequence. Don't they ever give up? Or, you know, they could just run us over. Alright, so after this sequence. <laughs> Shit. That was close. Alright. Now we're gonna end things off. YouTube, thank you for watching, and uh, take it easy. I'll see you later.